Now let's speak with Dr. Kabir Ibrahim, the Executive Secretary of Primary Health Care Development Agency in Jigawa State. Good evening and thank you for joining us on the program. Clearly a huge challenge you have on your hands with compliance with non-pharmaceutical preventive measures. I, I, I don't know if you ever get to a point where you go, you know what, I give up. But how do you recharge? How do you keep this going? Okay, thank you very much for coming in. Um, you know, we've been working really very relentlessly for the last 20 years or so since this, the, I mean, since the advent of this uh, pandemic. And, uh, you know, so much has been put into, uh, into use. For instance, you know, we activated all the eight pillars for combating uh, COVID in, in Jigawa State. Uh, His Excellency has directed that we observe very closely all the led rules that are related, related to, uh, you know, infection control prevention. Among other things, you know, we have included also procured uh, thousands of masks, you know, face masks for people to make use of. We have also provided MDA schools and other public places with uh, large numbers of, uh, uh, you know, sanitizers. We have also, you know, uh, instituted committee that usually goes around to make sure that people comply with these guidelines. Uh, but what's probably even more important is that we have, um, we've been part of those states that have uh, taken uh, vaccination against COVID very seriously. People who are following the track of the records put for the current vaccination program for COVID, you could have seen that Jigawa has, was actually the first state to do, have the coverage that was actually um, allocated by the national program. Um, so within the first week of starting the uh, vaccination program, um, our own program here in Jigawa has reached the maximum number that was actually allowed for uh, COVID vaccination. And I speak to you now, the team is still uh, out there making preparation for second doses. Uh, right. So we are leveraging on the availability of vaccine, but also emphasizing on the use of the conventional protective uh, measures, infection control right. and prevention, uh, mm. providing uh, sustained community mobilization and uh, other protocols that are necessary to make this process to get to completion very uh, reasonable. Well, clearly a lot of awareness still needs uh, to go through to the populace. But uh, regarding uh, testing, just to have a sense, a better sense of what Jigawa is dealing with, I, I, I weighed the figures, saying that, as you mentioned, you have vaccinated over 29,000. That's about 87.5% of the target. And you reached this in less than two months. But when we look at testing, on the other hand, just over 9,000 have been tested in over a year. When you weigh those figures, clearly uh, testing could do much better. And it begs the question, just how come well, actually, for testing, you know, we are trying to ramp up what we've been doing to, uh, initially. We've had a uh, uh, huge issue initially, to, uh, you know, making the, uh, mobilizing people to come for testing because of fear of lockdown, because of fear of uh, getting to isolation centers. But having had um, a renewed commitment to what we are doing, uh, people who are following the trend, you see, in the last two months or so, we've been providing, um, uh, you know, the good numbers of people who are coming for testing on a routine basis. Um, for, for the last one month, two months or so. So what we are trying to do is to make sure that we mobilize a lot of people to come for testing. And that's why you are seeing we, we are just coming up from barely 6,000 to 7,000 to nearly 9,000 now, and we're actually scaling up on that testing. Um, right now, we have additional molecular lab at Federal Medical Center, Bunungudu, which was uh, one is activated, will increase our testing capacity. We are also trying to mobilize 24-hour um, testing service within the state molecular lab so that we have laboratory people working in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. His Excellency, the governor, has given directive that this is uh, accelerated quickly, and we are really working hard you know, to make sure that we meet the minimum requirement for testing of at least one percent of the population, which is about uh, six, uh, which is about uh, you know one percent of six million. Uh, so for now, you see the testing is not really very bad. We are really uh, ramping up to make sure that we meet the requirement set up by the national government. Well, Dr. Kabir Ibrahim, the Executive Secretary of PHCDA in Jigawa State, thank you so much for your time on the program. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure.